Hey guys, welcome back to 9180. I'm here at the carriage house and I wish I would have gotten a before video of the way this room looked before we cleared everything out. Um, the only time I've ever showed you inside the utility closet was in video 55 when I was showing you our old furnace from the 1980s that um, we had replaced. Well, uh, shortly after replacing that furnace, we actually decided to relocate it up into the attic. It used to take up this entire corner here, um, and we decided we wanted indoor laundry. So, um, see that patch job in the ceiling? That's where the furnace got lifted up into the attic, and that's where it is now. And then in this corner, we used to have a really bulky um, hot water tank and um, the only way to turn this utility closet into a laundry room was to free up more space so we replaced that water tank and another water tank with a whole house tankless water system so it's a lot more compact then we had duck plumbing come in and run some new plumbing um, for washer or dryer and um, also just new plumbing from the sink that needed to be done. Um, the most cost effective way to do all of this was to have our handyman Ian come in and build a false wall here. So he's framed that in and then we had our electrician Harry Potter come in and run um, all the electrical needed to support both the hot water tank and the washer and dryer. And tomorrow, da, 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 Ian is coming back and he will be putting up the drywall. And then, you know, it's just a matter of finishing touches, getting the new flooring put in, painting the walls, picking out a new washer and dryer. And then for the first time in Randy and I's entire marriage, we are going to have indoor laundry.